Ah, uh, hello, fellow learners. So, welcome again to today's uh, this uh, tutorial. So, thank you for uh, for those who have done the exams, and for the others who have been. So, you are waiting for the result. So, here I'm going to do a uh, a revision. This just kind of a revision for those who have done, and this. Is kind of a new concept for those who are yet to do so these are uh, photography photography photogrammetry equation so this was the next 2023 november series though that is the paper that was done uh like um uh, of uh, so that was the first week of november last month so these um uh, uh, lecturer tv so this is just a uh, simple teaching revision uh welcome all so from Matili technical institute so we'll go directly to the question so that was question 8a that was the question that was done so question 8a uh define each of the following terms as used in photogrammetry so we had aerial photogrammetry uh, this is a branch of photogrammetry that deals with images taken with sensors mounted on airborne platforms. So that can be an aircraft or a drone in the new technology. And then the terrestrial photogrammetry. So this is a branch of photogrammetry in which the photographs are taken from the camera station at fixed positions on or near the ground then uh number three the remote sensing so remote sensing uh this is a unit uh in land survey uh for both diploma and even for the higher diploma in land survey so these are technique closely allied to the photogrammetry used to collect information about the ground surface without coming into contact with it so this is the measurement phase the ground measurement uh, the height the length uh, in whatever case so here we are using the uh, more advanced equipments to do the remote sensing so the gps can be one of them yeah even the drone technology in map making how uh, it can fall under the remote sensing or even the yeah more advanced instruments used then here we have a stereo model so this is a three dimension mode formed uh, with views from overlapping pair of photographs so this is a three dimension uh, that is the three dimension that is made uh, after a pair of overlapping photograph uh, is taken also uh this is something that can be used in 3d maps yeah 3d maps uh imagery that can apply there so let's go to the next question here so question 8b in the camera calibration outline the six minimum amounts of interior orientation information that is determined so the six minimum amounts of interior orientation uh, that is determined when doing camera calibration so the first is the calibrated focal length uh, the synthetic uh, uh, radial lens distortion and then the decentering of the lens distortion then the principal point location then the resolutions then the shutter efficiency so all these terms are somehow foreign but i guess someone who was uh someone was used the digital cameras uh either the mirrorless or the mirror so the D D L D L S uh cameras so these are some terms that are found there so the lens distortions so that is something that can be done there so the calibration of all this uh, can be done uh, using an expert or that can be done online uh, with proper instruments and the camera so that is the camera calibration uh, let's go to the next question 
so here in our next question so question 8c outline the five condition to be fulfilled so that the two overlaps photographs of a scene can produce a partial or a stereo model so these are the conditions that need to be fulfilled in order for the those photographs that have overlapped uh, in order for them to produce a uh, spatial model so this is a 3d dimension uh, model so it can be uh, for a building of a terrain or something close to that so here we have the minimum of the two horizontal and the three vertical points so we should have a minimum of two horizontal and three vertical control points then the rectified aerial uh, photographs that is a, it should be rectified so used mainly for the photo plan sheets so that is the condition and then the denser the ground survey network of the photo control so if the photo overlaps uh, they have a more uh, denser imagery form so that will help in the 3d formation then the tilt angle of the camera so in most cases uh, on this overlap you make sure your camera either it's a drone or an aircraft should not be directly 90 degrees to the ground so you tilt the camera a little bit then the position of the aircraft between the two overlaps so if the aircrafts uh, maintain the overlaps the percentage overlaps in each photo uh, then it will make sure the imagery formed can be seen well so this is done well using a drone so uh, in all these cases a uh, drone survey is the most accurate yeah that is the most accurate aircraft i can think of about then here we have our question uh 8d so from the aerial photographs of a building the following information was obtained so we were given the height of the camera as 1200 meters then we had the measurement of the photograph from the top of the building uh, that is 105.4 millimeters then we have the measurement in the photograph from the top of the building and the bottom of the building that is 4.44 millimeters so here they have been you have already been given uh directly what you need to calculate there yeah. then here we have the focal length uh given us 210 millimeters then we are told to estimate the height of the building a total of five marks so this is the last question of the photography question and uh, as high i told you earlier so this is the most simple question that can be done so it's just a total of five marks and so let's go directly to a diagram here so this is just a simple representation of what that question was talking about so here we have the h the small h this is the height of the building that is needed to be calculated here we have the focal length uh, the flying height so these are just a um, uh, formation of uh, these are the right angle triangles that we will need so I think on the other video I had talked much about how we get the formulas for calculating so we see this the distance from here V to C that is the V low then this the vertical distance from V to B this the uh, v high and here on our question we have been given here this is the uh, v high this is the measurement from top of the building then here they have done a little trick so the measurement in the photo the photo so that's the photograph from the top of the building and the bottom of the building is 4.55 so in this representation here this is the distance they are talking about so c uh, to be that is the difference between the v high and the v low so the distance between v c and v b is given directly to us here we don't need to calculate it 
uh, by minusing the v high minus the v low so this was given directly this was a little bit uh, easier question uh, that we had been given there so um we can go we can go ahead and we look at the simple solution so just like the other question i had done so it can be seen the distortion due to the building height so that the bc is so this is the simple uh, formula bc is equals to the small head that the height of the building or the flying height multiplied by the uh, vertical hi so this is the distance of the photograph given to us there so that is the distance they are talking about uh, but here uh, just like the other so the bc we were supposed to calculate it but here on our question we have already been given so this is just a simple thing so here we have already been given the uh, differences between the v high and the v low so we input that directly here and that becomes simple so bc is equals to uh, so this is the h we are looking for the small height height of the building over the uh, bigger h multiplied by the uh, vertical high so that is the vertical distance high so that is the top of the building there already given to us so this was also in millimeters remember that so also the distance bc is in millimeters so 4.55 in millimeters is equals to h the height of the building that we are calculating over uh, capital h that is the flying height given to us here on the question so here we have the height of the camera as 1,000 to 1,200 meters so you remember that is in meters uh if that is meters i little bit convert it to millimeters here then multiplied by the uh, v high that is the v um, top of the building here using a calculator i'm sure this is simple so you make sure you move uh, let's see we are going to start so i'm going to eliminate the uh, so we can move this so we can multiply this side by uh, 1200 uh, multiplied by 10 power 3 then we remain with the h multiplied by the uh, v top so that's the v high uh, in order for you to find the h you will divide uh, here by 105.45 then the same will do here will divide by 105.45 and getting our answer as uh, 50,412.52 millimeters so that is in millimeters uh, if you convert that to meters an estimate of the height of the building will be 50 meters high so that was just a uh, simple this is the question that was done uh, earlier last month so i hope those who did that question they did it correctly so it was simple like that so photogrammetry is the most simplest um, area to cover in a uh, survey module three or any other module so in land survey photogrammetry is a full unit so make sure you go and check uh, all those papers you revise on photogrammetry so remember to continue watching so more videos i uh, will be posted on the channel uh, of the same module of survey and thank you for your time they